everyone. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to digitize Polygon features in ArcGIS Pro. So, as you know, Polygon can be used to digitize uh, road networks, water bodies. You can digitize uh, rivers or uh, you can digitize up to settlements. Individual, you can digitize individual settlements or a cluster of settlements like this. You can take this part out, you can digitize using polygon, forest area, garden, agriculture lands. So this can be digitized with polygon and polygon is uh, it can be used for calculating the area. How much area the lake is you can use that for calculating area when you are finished with digitizing you can do that so let us see how to do that the first step is to add our polygon layer go to the option view catalog panel navigate to computer this pc select the drive where you have saved and come down and select the choose the folder so here you can see the polygon layer so let me drag it and place it over here automatically the polygon layer will be added so let us open the attribute table and find what this is what it is there in this uh, polygon layer polygon layer so you can see here there isn't uh, any data over here so it is a fresh data we need to digitize so let us get started for digitizing. Now let me close this field and uh, you can see edit, select edit, in edit, select create, choose polygon. Once again you can see here create features, select polygon. So I have already made a video on how to digitize point and line features in ArcGIS Pro please do check out check, check the videos now let us take the uh, lake for digitizing for with the uh, polygon features so try to zoom in as much as possible so that you will reduce the digitizing error so now you can see here use mouse left click to start okay like this you can start to draw polygon you can see on each of the corner I am putting the vertex correctly so that the digitization will be accurately done try to zoom in as much as possible Otherwise, you may end up in uh, making uh, mistakes. When you zoom in, you will see how much uh, shift is there in your data. So try to zoom, uh, try to zoom in deeply as much as possible. If you are digitizing for a large scale area, then uh, The accuracy can be adjusted accordingly. When you are doing for a smaller area, try to zoom in as much as possible so that the accuracy will be better. Keep that in mind. Now I am using mouse, mouse left click to place this vertices. You can see here vertices. So, unknowingly you have uh, done a mistake like this, you can use Ctrl plus Z to and Ctrl plus Z to undo the mistakes. Like this you can do. Use Ctrl plus Z. So, like this you can digitize. So if I zoom in deeper, 
you can see the shift over here this lake is over here and uh, digitization is line is over here so for that that is uh, that's why i'm telling try to zoom in as much as possible please uh, keep that in mind this is very important use the scroll button to zoom in and zoom out you can use you can use uh, the scroll button you have to long press the scroll button to navigate like this you can navigate along the map you can see how the the cursor is changing when you long press the scroll button or you can long press c button c for cat c button you can long press it and navigate you can navigate around the map so try to put more vertices like this on those edges here itself you can see the error what i am doing that's what i told you that uh, we have to zoom in accurately so that we can trace it properly in this case it's just an example so i am just showing you like this you can uh, digitize so let me make it quick you can also change the color of this you can choose uh, no color so that the digitization will be much uh, easier for you otherwise the color might be hiding uh, the boundaries control z try to place the point in the boundary like this like this should be done like this whenever you see the uh, curve or uh, change in the dimensions please uh, put uh, more vertices like this should be on the line you can see the shift over here that's why zooming in as much as possible is must keep that in mind so when you want to finish the digitization double click to finish the digitization now we can see that we have completed our digitizing work so we have successfully digitized the lake okay this concept apply, applies to anything for example you can see uh, a small parcel it's a mango garden you can digitize this mango garden like this try to place the points on the corner If the line is straight you can reduce the number of vertices which has been put put on like this double click to finish so like this you can digitize you can also digitize roads or streams rivers drainage networks So you can modify this uh, features, select modify 
and use the selection tool to select for example if you want to select and edit this this polygon you can use the selection tool change the selection okay like this you can change and you can see a lot of options is there if you want you can move it you can move you can see how the cursor symbol is changing you can move it like this if you want to move it you can use and move like this use control z for undoing and you can also edit the vertices so let me zoom into a particular location now you could see that uh, i have made a digitizing error because the actual uh, boundary is here but i have digitized far away from the boundary so how to edit it you can you, you can select this uh, vertices and place it correctly use the mouse left click like this you can place it properly properly you can place it so here currently i am using snapping so let me disable the snapping tool i have shown how to use snapping tool in the previous video while digitizing line if you want you can check it out so like this you can click on this uh, vertex and you can drag and drop wherever you require if you want to drop uh, if you want to add more vertices you just put uh, the cursor on this line and use the mouse right click and you could see add vertex now you can add vertex extra vertex if you want to delete it you just need to once again right click on it and delete the vertex like this can be done easily okay so this is an example meanwhile we need to save our uh, digitizing work otherwise it can be lost if any error, error occurs it may be lost so that's why i'm telling you you can use the selection tool for delete also you have to select this and hit the button delete automatically this will be deleted like this you can se select it delete so you can see here it has gone control z to undo it okay now let me show you some more uh, in the edit uh, modify features lot of there uh, basic i am showing you you can reshape this polygon let me select this polygon so i have chosen the reshape tool for example yeah so let us assume that this uh, lake also covers this land area so we need to reshape it so how to do that in the modify select reshape now use the snapping tool snapping turn it on okay now so we need to cover this area we need to cover this area so i'm going to choose this end using mouse left click and i'm going to draw a line so from here i am going to join it now i am reshaping it you can see how it works okay like this you can do reshape it let me show you another example same example you need the, you need to cut this part this doesn't come under your leg then once again choose in the one end try to digitize using mouse left click like this you can do when you are going to finish double click and finish now you can see how we have altered the shape of this leg so i hope that uh, you have uh, learned uh, how to digitize polygon in uh, arcgis pro
If you are having any other doubts, please do ask in the comment section. Finally, save your edits. That is very important. Now let us open the attribute table of this uh, polygon. So you can see here we have designed two polygons. So, so two data sets are there FID 0, FID 1. You can add field. You can add field and tell what this data is about. For example, let me add a field. Let me set the field length. So first, uh, let me select the data type to be text and field length to be 50. You can choose it accordingly. If it is lengthier, you can choose 200, 255 accordingly. Now, save it. Yeah. Close this one. Now you can see it has been updated. So when I am choosing the first layer, you can see it is also highlighted in the map. Likewise, I am selecting the second layer. It has been highlighted like this. If you double click, uh, it will be automatically showing which uh, feature you have selected. So in the name, I am going to give it lake. For this polygon 2, I am going to give farm. So this is an example after doing everything you can see over here you can finish your digitizing using this option save it now it is done so thanks for watching please put your comments goodbye everyone